players are up there. Um, Lambert looked very well, very good tonight. Give a good um, account of himself. I think he should be um, starting the next game. I think we can rest some players. I think Lowe will not play the next game because they have consecutive yellows. But I think we can rest a few players against St. Kitts and Nevis. Not saying that we're taking, resting our, on mm -hmm. our laurels. But you know, we will need fresh legs to go to the next round. And I think we should be getting the W. I don't like when people are, um, respect your, yes, respect your opponent. But St. Kitts and Nevis, we all do respect St. Kitts and Nevis people. We fear beat, you know. So we all do respect until you know, re, re, rise up to this level, yeah. We fear beat, you know. So, on our goals, Billy, look, whipping boys in the group, and we are going to beat on around this. But for me, we can rest some players. Hey, we have listen. Yeah. Listen, ball play, but in a sneak there. The ball round. Do them something there, brother. Listen, listen to me, my, my boss. We, we think, this thing about ball round, nine out of ten times, we fear beat them Monday. So, the te we're not going to go there with the tenth time being that game. I am talking, but me, 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 I talk to the science man I'm and morning. I want him to tell me everything. When we come back from the panel weekend for the next match, I tell you how to go. <laughs> but for me, though, me, like, as I said, as I said, we need to clean up. I'm going to tell you, we need to clean up our second half um, play. Because yeah. both games, I, I think with the practice games that we played, both practice games, friendly games, and then both games right now in the Gold Cup, we get we had a very good four to five minutes. We are we are yet to play a complete game, Krista. We are yet to play a complete game where we are looking in control of the complete game. Um, the last thing that I will say is this: the referee, the referees need to be cognizant of the fact that you are refing in an international co competition game. You, you cannot be so blatantly biased in your refereeing where every single thing is going against Jamaica to the point where you are, you are give, going to give a penalty away where the man clearly hit the ball. So, you see, the people who are saying that VAR, this VAR, that give thanks for VAR because if, VAR, if we never have VAR tonight, we'd have probably draw this game at 3 3. Because the man never get back a penalty. We don't know what could happen. It, so give thanks for VAR and VAR. Two things VAR did for us tonight. I mean, need people we, 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 we are at eight pound VAR to re recognize. VAR gave us the goal again for Leon Bailey because they would have said it was offside. And VAR stopped us from conceding a goal. So tonight VAR was on the side of Jamaica because the referee was on the side of Trinidad and Tobago. But, but, but why did they have VAR? Why they never have VR when we bus USA in a national stadium when Damian Lowe scored the Rati goal? Then, but that is the thing when I tell you now. You see, people live on them learning. Just, it's just all the. All, all. Yeah. Said, that, is why, that is why Damian Lowe. Watch out. Notice that Damian Lowe come score at Edda against them again in a similar fashion. It's karma. Right. So the same <laughs> man come, come score for you again. It's just karma. Yeah. But, 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 but you know, know it's. VR we always be VR because it's so inconsistent. It, 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 VR is not the problem, you know. It's the person that they put in charge of the VR. They are the problem. VR is a solution to, to um decisions that should be made that are very controversial or tight or too close for the eye to decide. The problem has always been the person that they choose to handle that part of the, the, the game. And most of the time, they have some, and um, they don't reveal which side they are on, and they are biased. There are a lot of biased persons behind the VR. You have a, a man on a city game, and the person doing the VR is a, is a, is a man or a city man. What? They are going to go against the other team. So VR is, is not the problem, it's the person that is put in charge. So it's the um, reading. So what you're saying is 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 the is how the how the var is um utilized then how how you choose to read what's in front of you because I don't understand why he pointed to the penalty spot for um low. I'm assuming he thought it was a handball, but um in the end uh, the right decision was made because it wasn't. A yes, handball. he and thought it was, was a handball, Christian. Yeah, the thing is, 
it was in a natural um position anyways because he's jumping he's clearly jumping he's a defender how the hell do you expect him to jump without his hand going going in the air i understand that sometimes players might try to intentionally um get the ball away from them by using their hands but that wasn't the case at all he was no but that's the thing though i mean yeah i think you have to look at like for me if you're the referee or the linesman you're watching the play when the player jumps, if the player is jump, so the player jumps like this, and you know that you, you can see that he jumps to and he jumps and does this motion. But there are players who will jump and stay so like they jump on them, so that you can see that if the ball touches, if you're doing this crystal, if you're jumping and you're, you're heading, but your hand also is moving, that simply means that you're trying to either you're clearing it legally or illegally. But if you're jumping like Damien Low jumped and stay like this, so but Damien Low. Is heading towards the ball, but his hands are basically propelling, propelling him up in the air, rather than yeah. trying to pull him forward. So I'm thinking that the referee got that clearly wrong. Like, I mean, the referee should have looked at his body motion. The motion, the player's body motion, position, is one yeah. of trying to clear the ball. Yeah, the player's body jump. motion is one of trying, to, yeah, one of jumping and trying to clear the ball, and not one of trying to clear the ball by any means. I think that's where a penalty comes in. Where you're trying to clear the ball by any means possible. So yeah. that means you would use legal or illegal methods of clearing the play. But to Damian Lowe's... Yeah, Damian Lowe was just propelling himself to clear the ball. If, yeah. When you are watching the play, that's what I saw. I'm no referee. I didn't have no certification. But from no, my no, I, untrained I, 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 eye, that's I what I saw. I agree. Yeah, that's with what you. I think. But the thing but is, you, you need, you need your, when normal when you're jumping, your hand is a part of what that what they use to, to help. As I said, propel yeah. you towards either upward or forward. If you have your hand behind you like this, you're not going to get the amount of um that's what I'm saying. Yeah. To get that um, reach yeah. that you want. Elevation. To you're not going back. to get the amount of elevation. So it's important. It's, it's just that sometimes I see players jump and the, with the direction that they jump to hit the ball with their head, the, 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 the hand is going with them like this. That is deliberate. Yeah. That is definite that is and foul. That is deliberate. So the direction that your hand is going into is the direction that you are trying to hit the ball in. So that simply means that you have an intention to, to clear the ball by any means. So Damien Lowe and was not going in the direction that he was heading the ball. So that's the thing, you know. I think it's a split. For me, I would not have cri criticized the referee for this if he, if he had been better in the game. But from minute one to the last minute, the referee is atrocious. I saw Leon Bailey make a breakaway play. And, and the Trinidad defender came across and cut him across his body. Yellow card, clearly. If he was the last man, it was a red card. What did the referee do? Nothing. Foul. Play hard. So, they don't like the referee. Not no, when Jamaica, it, it doesn't work for when Jamaica is playing. Red card don't work when Jamaica is playing. A lot so of games should that, have yeah. been given to the opponent and they don't because I, I just see the, the, the bias against us is consistent. And the next thing too, this is why I think Jamaicans, if you're watching this stream, you all need to, oh, those of you who haven't gotten into football and coaching and other stuff, you need to get into refereeing so we can referee in some of these international tournaments. Because clearly there's a job opening out there. Because these guys, some of them don't know what they're doing. Or they're just blatantly biased in whatever they're doing. This is an honest profession where you are not supposed to lift up your jersey and we'll see one side. I'm not saying this man is supporting Trinidad and Tobago, but your calls tonight could have cost Jamaica more than one goal because of your actions on the field and could have cost us players to not play in the next game. You cannot be like that. You understand? You cannot be refereeing a game like that. You have to do better. It's an international. This is not even a friendly game. You're refereeing in a competitive fixture. Right now, I believe that this referee should not get the next game at the tournament. Yeah, but I'm saying that is how strongly, Crystal, I believe in this tonight. You cannot be doing these things. 
I am not saying you cannot make we are human after all, we can make mistakes. But you have made you have blundered in your refereeing of the game because every single call went against Jamaica and no call was going against Trinidad and Tobago. And it cannot be like that. It's a balance of play. It cannot be like that. And the balance of play, if a man makes a tackle, one player makes a tackle two times dirty. And you don't give him. The third time when he makes a dirty player, whether it be softer than the first two players, you give him a card. You know why? It's called compilation challenge. He, he, he is basically that he has given, he has fall once, fall twice. And if you allow him to continue, somebody is going to get hurt in the game. So the third time, you give him a card. But, I mean, this is what I have to say. I want, you I don't want to be Crystal Show. I haven't seen Crystal Show. You were saying, yeah, you were saying.